I give you a zoomed in time lapse of the southern celestial pole. Hi there. From my viewpoint in my average backyard on the east coast of Australia, I get to see some beautiful clear days which are pretty amazing, but it's night time when the sky really comes alive. With a decent camera, thanks science, I get to observe and photograph some really stunning views. To my southwest, I get the incredible view of the Milky Way which passes through the southern polar region of the sky which is only visible from the southern hemisphere the southern cross alpha centauri the southern pleiades and the carina nebula it's a really bright part of the sky one night a few years ago there was a complete blackout and this region of the sky had a faint green glow to it it was surreal to my southeast of my viewpoint is the galactic core which most of us can see it's such a beautiful part of the sky that I also love to capture with observable features such as the Scorpion's Tail, the Ptolemy Cluster, Sagittarius Star Cloud and the Lagoon Nebula. But it's the view to my south that's really special. Here we can see the South Celestial Pole, only visible from the Southern Hemisphere. The time lapse at the beginning of this video was zoomed in on this area of the sky right here, which we'll zoom into now. It's actually a fairly dark part of the sky. On a clear night, visible to the naked eye, I can see the small and large Magellanic clouds, which are close to dwarf galaxies. Unfortunately, they haven't shown up in these photos. Now, here we are at the South Celestial Pole. This is Sigma Octantis of the Octans constellation, which represents the South Celestial Pole. It's also known as Polaris Australis, but I'll just use Sigma Octantis. We don't want to confuse flat earthers any more than we need to. Flat earthers have told me that there is no Southern Pole star, but what this next time lapse will show us is that there most definitely is. And there's also a few fainter stars right at the very center of the SCP. Let's start the time lapse so we can see the observable proof of the apparent clockwise motion of the SCP. Well, what can I say? I made this time lapse with individual 8 second exposures, probably around 100 photos over about an hour. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. This observation shows us that not only is there a South Celestial Pole, but there are also several relatively fixed Southern Pole stars. Here's the star trail made from that time lapse. Sigma Octantis is just here, and we can see the fainter stars of the SCP shown just here. We can compare this with another star trail I made about six months ago with no zoom at all. One thing that has always confused me about flat earthers is, is their disregard for the universe. They think photos from Hubble are fake, everything from NASA is fake, and images from astronomical observatories? Forget about it, they're obviously fake too. But what about a photograph taken from a regular person? I'm pretty proud of these photos I've taken and shown you here in this video, but it's amazing what a better camera can produce in the hands of someone who really knows what they're doing. This photo here was taken by my friend Dee. She's photographed this long exposure of the Milky Way region near the constellation of Aquila. It's a fantastic photo and it shows us that the Milky Way being full of hundreds of millions of stars is a real place and anyone can photograph it. For more details on this photo and to check out her other photos, there's a link in the description. Now, I couldn't do a video about the Southern Celestial Pole without a good old Flat Earth debunk. Flat Earthers think they live on a world that looks something like this, north at the center and south pointing outward in all directions. But what they completely fail to realize is the star trail I've shown you in this video while looking south can also be made from two other continents, South America and South Africa. This clearly shows that South does indeed converge to a central point, the South Pole, and not outward towards some make-believe ice wall. <laughs> flat Earth debunked, again. I'd say it's another nail for the Flat Earth coffin, but I really don't think there's any more room left in that thing. It's covered in nails. This was a really fun observation to do, and when I get some better camera equipment, I'll try this one again. Thanks heaps for watching.